taking bigger risks and the opportunity for Bath to capitalise on a mistake and get that vital next score. Francois Lowe through the hands of Devoto and Joseph again looking to conjure something miraculous which he seems to have done brilliant from Jonathan Joseph this could be one of the all-time great scores it's Batty it's brilliant from Bath it's Francois Lowe with the try Jonathan Joseph has conjured something extraordinary oh Joseph's just been superb all game but this is absolutely awesome the step the hitch kick to get away from a pacey fullback like Maynard. And then the angle and the cut from Batty. And he doesn't gamble Batty. He knows there's going to be support, as there has been for Bath all game. And Francois Lowe makes sure he rounds it off in style. But what a piece of individual brilliance from the outside centre. And two fantastic passes. Both guys had the potential to go all the way themselves. They backed their teammates. You want a little England audition a couple of days before a squad's named, that's how you do it. It does beg the question, can England really do without a man who has those kind of capabilities? He had no right there. The defensive line in front of him was numbered up. He had two men on top of him. He'd have gone all the way and scored himself. Would have been in the top five best tries I've ever seen in my life. It would have been interesting to see him back himself as well because I think he, he had a fair old shot at making it over the line himself. But he was unselfish. And George Ford looks to add the extras, which he has done. Surely the result is assured now. That, remember, the bonus point for Bath. Their fourth of the afternoon. Special. The balance, isn't it? The balance, the pace, the understanding of the players around you, and then the showboating at the end. 